Working on the plumbing is the first step when it comes to rebuilding the shower. We'll need to add a backer board that will support the valve assembly. Look at the directions on the fixtures that you purchased to see how far back that backer board needs to be. Solder the fittings on the copper pipe leading down to the tub spout. Then attach your valve assembly to that copper fitting and then secure the valve assembly to that backer board. I've soldered together the fittings that go on the hot and cold water side of the valve assembly. And then I'll use a pipe wrench to secure them to that assembly. Now it's always a good idea to use a little Teflon tape on these thread fittings. If you're new to soldering, follow these tips for a good watertight fitting. First, use a brace of paper to clean the copper pipe. Next, apply flux to both the pipe and inside the fitting. Use a propane torch to apply heat to one side of the joint and let it get good and hot. You'll know that it's hot enough when you apply the solder to the opposite side of that fitting and it sucks the solder right into the joint. This is what the finished valve assembly looks like when it's all plumbed up. Down to the plumbing on the tub spout. And then all the way up to the shower head. Now we're ready to apply the cement board to our studs. If it helps you to locate the studs after the cement board is up, add a piece of painter's tape wherever the studs line up, and that makes it easy to attach your screws directly into the studs. We're going to use Durock cement board. There's a rough side and a smooth side. Rough side out. They come in three by five foot sheets, so it fits perfectly on our five foot bathtub. You need to use cement board screws when attaching it to your studs.
If you'd like to have a nook in your shower, now's the time to frame it out. Just cut a couple two by fours, secure them to the studs at whatever height you desire. To cut cement board, use a utility knife to score a line, snap the board, and then cut from the back.
take some careful measurements and use a hole saw to drill the other openings in the cement board. When you drill the hole around the valve assembly, it has to be big enough so that when you look through the opening, you can see the two screw holes in the back. These screw holes are used to attach the face plate onto the valve assembly. It's a good idea to clean off the old caulk around the edge of the tub now rather than wait to do it after you've tiled. In part three, we'll start the tiling. 